like a very traditional home style dish your grandmother would make. Mmm. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here coming at you from beautiful Tirana, Albania, the capital of Albania. I am super excited, I'm finally back in the Balkans. I'm in the smack center of the city in Skanderbeg Square. Behind us we have the National Museum of Albania. We have the oldest mosque in the city right here, 18th century mosque. And here we have the monument of Skanderbeg. He is a national hero. And this morning what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a traditional Albanian breakfast. I am super excited, I'm super hungry. And then after that we're gonna explore the city and then we're gonna try some traditional delicious rakia. And I'm here with my guide Annie. Annie, how you doing? Hello, great, I'm doing great. This is the main square of, uh, of Tirana. Uh, he's our national hero, his, name, his real name is Jerzy Kastrioti. And uh, since we are in the heart of Albania, in Tirana, also the, the main square represents the unity of Albania. The marble that are used for the, for the square of uh, Skanderbeg are taken from different uh, zones, different city of Albania, and also the plants and also the trees that we have in the center of the square are taken from different zones of Albania, so to represent the unity of the country here in the capital of Albania. So, and also in my right side, it is one of the surviving uh, 18th century mosque uh, in Tirana. Uh, so now we are going to have the breakfast in the castle of Tirana. And uh, as we go there, we'll see a lot of colorful buildings uh, that are, uh, for the moment, the most important ministries of, uh, of Albania. And uh, the, as you can see, there is a difference between uh, the buildings in Albania and all of them represent a different kind of periods that Albania has been through. For example, the building that you, you see around us, the colorful ones, there are the Italian style buildings. Yeah, so right here in the smack center of the city, it feels very European, very Italian. Uh, the country opened up in 91 and look, I mean, gorgeous. And the temperature is perfect, by the way. I, I didn't think it was too hot this morning. You know, it's summer, it's August. It's gonna be really hot here in the Balkans. Yes, yeah, so Every day is gonna be scorching, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. And it's right here, the castle? That is the pedestrian of Tirana. It is a street uh, where the cars are not allowed and it is only for the people walking. Uh, it used to be also the national uh, theater here, but it was, uh, was destroyed lately during the quarantine. A lot of places to sit. I love the, the like right now, sitting down, having a coffee. That would be good. If I smoked a cigarette, I would be smoking a cigarette too. <laughs> I mean, this is like perfect. The temperature is great. And right here at the end of the street, we have Tirana Castle. Beautiful. Famil Ja Toptani. Famil Ja Toptani. And then in front of it, you have all these beautiful modern buildings. Look at this. So modern buildings, pedestrian walkway, pedestrian street, and the castle. Tirana Castle. Toptani family. Incredible. So how old is this castle? 18th century? Wow. So it actually has roots from the early Byzantine era, so fourth and sixth century. But then it, you know, obviously went through Ottoman period, then eventually in the 18th century when they built this castle. And here we go, we're entering the castle. And so this castle isn't like a ruined fortress. This is more like a living castle. So they've converted inside restaurants. They also have souvenir shops and over here. So we have a outdoor seating, more outdoor seating. They love outdoor seating here in Albania. Breakfast is right there. Seren. Yes. Perfect. So this is Seren restaurant. As you can see, it's a very farm feel, you know, really rustic, modern at the same time. And here we're starting off with a W Espresso. They were under Italian influence for, you know, a little bit in the 90s. So they like their Italian coffees. Mm, super strong. And next to it, we have Rakia, the national drink. Super strong, distilled grapes. Wow, that is good. If you guys don't know about this, in the Balkans, they love rakia. Each country produces it. Some countries do different things, like use honey, apricots, plums. Here in Albania, traditionally, it's grapes. So there's still grapes. And the reason why you have it in the morning with your coffee is that it helps your blood flow. A lot of the old men, especially like in North Macedonia, Albania, they love drinking this in the morning. I mean, one shot and you're, you're ready to go. It's like energy, right? Oh, this is good. I can't even believe I'm doing this in the morning. <laughs> and also in my house that we do not have a, a space uh, in the outside, we do it in the inside. It's a little bit uh, 
uh, it's a little bit difficult because uh, the, there are the grapes fermenting and everything so it is uh, the, the smell it is very strong and we do it we take turns to see all the process of, uh, of, uh, of boiling of, uh, of the grapes to produce rakia so it's kind of in every house of Albania wow so tasty it's strong but at the same time it's good it's not like moonshine it's like really really nice Ooh, this one's strong. <laughs> and here we go, we're in the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make some delicious breakfast, Albanian breakfast. What are we making? So she's making a, fa a famous dish for breakfast in Albania. It is called trahana. And uh, for trahana, she's using uh, boiling water, uh, butter, and salt. This is uh, the, the main ingredient of preparing trahana. It is the flour of trahana that we have here. And we put it together with water, salt, and butter. And then right here we have bread with eggs. Basically similar to a French toast. You were saying that every morning you used to have this, right? My grandmother used to, uh, used to prepare it every morning for the kids. It may be small, it may be little, but of course it has to be a lot. <laughs> so the chef here is making spetula, which is Albanian pancakes. The way it works, a little different. You know, so they have here boiling oil, then they drop in dough, and that's it, right? Yeah. So it's not really a pancake on a, on a like a, on a pan, it's in the oil. So it's like a floating pancake. Yes, right? and uh, very soon you will see the pancakes coming out of the oil. All right guys, so I'm gonna take out the pancakes. So it's more like, almost like fluff, fluffy dough, right? Right there, perfect. So this is the second batch of the petula, the Albanian pancakes. You just made it a little fluffier, more flour, more eggs, just doughier, right? So it's gonna come out more round as well. Man, it smells good. Food looks good. It's got some eggs, got some rice, got some bread with uh, eggs as well. And this? So we have an Albanian breakfast here. We have eggs, tomato, goat cheese, uh, cucumbers. We have uh, jam, uh, fig jam, we have uh, blueberries jam, a little bit of uh, beef salam. This is a huge, authentic Albanian breakfast. I'm so excited. I'm gonna start off with this amazing egg with the cheese. This cheese reminds me of feta cheese, very thick, very condensed. It's made out of goat milk. Oh my God, so do I just like eat it like this? Nice, right there, mix it together. This is gonna be so good. I'm breaking the fast, guys. Mmm, over easy, right? Sunny side up, mixed with this delicious salty cheese. Gotta say, the cheese is out of control. Mmm. So you got tomato, cucumber, and the cheese, and that's basically like Albanian salad. This is what I love about the Balkans. The cultures and traditions have been mixed and they've been fused, you know? Okay, so next dish, I'm gonna try some rice with some chicken kebab. Very simple dish. Looks delicious, so it's chokta. Mmm. Oh wow. It's nice, it's a little soft and hard at the same time, like almost al dente. I love the kebab. Smoky, little charcoal. Even though it's very simple, so tasty. I'm gonna keep separating things because there's too many dishes here, guys. Like, I'm going one after the other. I think it's 10 dishes. And this is tahana, very traditional Albanian dish. Flour, eggs, butter. They let it dry and then they crumble it. And here we have it. Amazing. And they add cheese on top, right? Yes. Gotta go in with the spoon, right? Oh wow, so it reminds me of like grits in the States, right? Almost like porridge, right? This is something that people have in, you know, in the field, in the farmlands. They have it, they fill up. Mm. Mm. And they also have bread inside it. Yes. Right? Oh. To feel you better. Mm hmm. So I'm a big grits guy. I love cheese with grits and some shrimp sometimes, right? Shrimp and grits. But this one is stellar. The cheese mixed with this, like, the way they crumble it and also having the bread inside really fills you up. So it's a little different having that bread because you just got that big clump in your mouth. Mm. I, I like this dish a lot. If I eat this dish, the whole thing, I'm gonna be full. Mmm, but you gotta get some of that cheese from the top, that nice layer. Wow. And this is a traditional dish called fergesa. 
So it's ricotta cheese, which is called giza. 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 Uh, so peppers, you got meat inside here, olive oil, and that's it. I mean, look at this. It's hot. No, it's not too hot right now, but usually it comes like scorching hot. You can't even touch this. And the way you eat this is either with a spoon or you get some bread. So have some beautiful bread here. Wow. This is. I'm gonna break off some bread and then I'm gonna dip. Just like this, right? Mmm. Right away you get a taste of the peppers, the meat, mmm, the cheese. The cheese is like, it's crumbly, but at the same time it's like, like almost like gooey because it's been melted. Wow, this is this is why it comes to Albania for like little tava dishes like this. Grab as much as possible. Yeah, I let that bread soak it up. Oh yeah. Mm, I wouldn't say a soup. It's almost like a stew with cheese and peppers. Mm. Wow, so delicate. So good. Like a very traditional home style dish your grandmother would make. Mm. The plate that's most similar to this that I've tried before is goulash. Very, very similar. So now let's try bread and eggs. The most common easy breakfast to make. Mm -hmm. Basically French toast without the syrup. Here we have some honey. So you just get some honey like that. A little bit, right? Mmm. Way better. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it's not sweet. It was just super savory. With it, deliciously sweet. Well, this is a lot of uh, a lot of carbs here. <laughs> if I eat all this bread, I won't be able to eat the pancakes. So this is very similar, obviously. So fried dough, and in the center we have delicious fig jam. Figs are super popular here in the Balkans. You can have it everywhere. Every country has figs. So the way I do this one, just grab one, right? Just dip it right here. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the Albanian pancake is basically a dough puff ball. You can have it with delicious fig jam, or you can add honey. If you add sugar on top, this would be very similar to like an elephant ear where you get in the carnivals in America. So just add a little bit of this, right? Whoa. Mmm. Get it hot. So good. And right here we have beef salami. It reminds me of Basturma in Armenia. Mmm. Wow. A little smoky. This is a lot of delicious food. Thank you so much. Wow. I don't even know what to do here. Just dive in here. So it's basically yogurt and honey. Yogurt, oats, and honey. Yogurt's really big down here, as well as honey. The oats is a little different. It's the first time I see this dish. Mmm. It's amazing. You guys are too much with these dishes. It's almost like Greek yogurt in the sense that it's like more watery, right? I love the honey, gives it like a nice amount of sugar, right? A little sweet. And the oats gives it an extra thickness. I would say it's almost like a like almost like oatmeal, but more watered down oatmeal. The last thing we have to try for breakfast is a fruit yogurt. So what do we have on top? Oh, so we have pomegranate. And then we have something else like nuts, right? Mmm. Super fruity. Definitely a thicker yogurt. No, the other one was more like watery. This one's thicker. This is more my type of yogurt. Mmm. I love the pomegranate. They burst in your mouth. Healthy. Personally, I would go with uh, this one, this one, and then my favorite, the Rocky. <laughs> the Rocky, yeah. Mmm. What a way to start a day. First day in Albania. Thank you. This is amazing. Faliminderi. You're welcome. Thank you. Faliminderi. Faliminderi. The food is amazing. Thank you. We'll wait you again. <laughs> the problem is a lot of this is like breaded, right? So you get really full really fast. But now, guys, I have to go see uh, Tirana. Thank you. Thank you. Faliminderi. Bye. Faliminderi. Bye bye. Now we're going to visit the new bazaar of Tirana. The new bazaar? Yes. It is the biggest uh, market in, uh, in Tirana. 
uh, for the fish, uh, vegetables, uh, meat. So we are, here we are uh, in the entrance of the new bazaar of Tirana. Uh, it was built in 1931 because the old bazaar couldn't ha handle all the increase of the commercial activity, but is the biggest uh, market for the moment in Tirana. And so this is like an old door from 1932. Yes, that belonged to the villa of uh, Hati family. This is the bazaar, right in the center, open air, glass, you know, glass roof with lights. On the bottom you have different vendors selling vegetables, fruits, nuts, dried fruits, pots, pots souvenirs. souvenirs, wine. This is great. So this, this is the bazaar, right here. This is the bazaar. Okay. bazaar. My friend, the smell of these olives is insane. Can I try one? Can, is it possible? Yes. Yeah, just grab one. This one's gonna be good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, whoa. He cleaned out the seed and he stuffed it with a pepper. That one has pepper inside. Yes, this is originally Greek. So try the other ones that are traditional, all Albanian. The other ones are Albanian, only this one was traditionally the Greek stuff with pepper. Oh wow! So this one has a seed? Yes, that is more like homemade. Mm. I love these black olives. Mm. So good. I can eat these all day. And those cut up. Wow. Back there we have more fruits, pears, watermelon. Look at that. They have honey there? Right there? Yes. And rakia? Yes. It's normal to sell rakia in Albania. You can find it everywhere. So they put the homemade rakia into the water bottles. Yes. And then this is obviously from factory. Yes. From the actual winery. Then here we have more wine and this is honey. And I love how they have the honeycomb inside. Yes. This is the, I eat that. Like I literally eat it. It is very good. It's so good for you. Well, and then over here we have I guess pottery, right? Lots of beautiful pottery. So it's basically five open air rows mixed with things. Yes. Lots of fig, lots of honey, tomatoes. Over here we have basil, I can smell the mint. Wow, from here. These are spoons, wooden spoons that are made with olive trees. By olive trees wood. Okay, so I should take one to my wife. Something like this? Like a big spoon? Olive tree, huh? This is great. Oh, and those are, okay, so those are like, this is more to like mix spices, right? And you put butter in here as well, just break it down. Also for the garlic, so you, 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 you don't touch it because it smells, so you put it there and... So I'm gonna buy this spoon for my wife, it's made out of olive tree and it's 300 lex, which is like a little over 3 US dollars. Pretty good deal, traditional, I'll take it. Falimenderi, falimenderi, falimenderi. Here at the end of the bazaar we have the antiques, so you have rings, you have different things from the communist era, you have watches, so many different things, coins, these are all the old coins? Yes. Perfect, passports, huh? Look at passports. Can I buy a passport? So you know, it's summer, I don't need a scarf, but if you want a scarf, you come in winter, definitely buy this Albanian scarf, it's like $5, so like 500 lakh, right? It's pretty nice. So this is Albania, it's all red. I think I'm gonna get myself a jersey over this, but if it was winter, I would take it. Right now, what's the point, right? Beautiful though, Albania. Forza Albania. Now we're entering at the market of the fish and the meat, and also tea. Meat, fish, and dairy market. Here we have it, the butcher. Wow, smells good. As you can see, here's the butcher, baby goat hanging. And he has some legs here, liver, kidney. I mean, everything smells so good and fresh. And that's the best part about coming to markets like this. You get your meat super fresh. They cut it for you and it's ready. It was, you know, basically killed today. So yes. the fresh as you can get. Small market, not so big. Over here to the right, we have a few different fish vendors. So lots of different fish. And over here, more butchers, more meat, more delicious lamb and goat. As you guys know, Albania is on the Adriatic Sea, so they have a lot of fish, a lot of delicious seafood. All this fish comes from like Duras, you know, all, basically everything along the coast, right? Here we have squid, we have shrimp, salmon, I don't know, lots of different fish here. Everything is super fresh, caught today, brought here today, 
and here it is. Wow, never ending shrimp. Oh, it smells great. And if it smells good, you know it's fresh. So you were saying these restaurants over here where everybody's sitting is like meat restaurants? Yes, grilled meat restaurant. So what, people come here in the mornings, they eat grilled meat? Yeah, sometimes you'll see people uh, in, in the morning eating uh, grilled meat and drinking a lot of beer over here. Wow. In the morning. And right here we have a souvenir shop that has jerseys. This is the jersey of Albania, the soccer jersey. Yes. I want to try one on. Let's see. All right, guys. I have to try on this shirt. This jersey this is the L. Let's see if it fits me good. Sorry, I'm a little full. I have a lot of Albanian food today. Yeah, this, is, this is it, right? This is better. Fits me. It's not too long. I like it. This with this, Albania. <laughs> Oh, and let me show you this. Wow. This is, so what is it called? Chiftelia. Chiftelia. So when you come to Albania, buy yourself a Chiftelia, which is like $25. You said $25 for this? A little more? And then this is like $12 for the jersey. $12? Perfect. Okay. I take it. I don't know about this one, though. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. So I got myself an Albanian jersey. That is the World Cup jersey. They also have the Euro Cup, so they have different styles for different, you know, competitions. And yeah, we're walking through the center. Right there is the square, the center of the city. That's where everybody is. This is like where everything is centered around. And now we're gonna walk over to the car. And where we're we going? Uh, we're going to Mother Teresa Square and uh, check a little bit the buildings around. This neighborhood is called Ex Bloku, Bloku neighborhood. And uh, during the communism pe uh, period, uh, the people working for the government used to live here. And uh, it was a restricted area for ordinary people. So it was uh, protected with guards and uh, simple citizens, let's say, uh, were not allowed to, to enter at this block. So it's basically a private community for the government officials. Yes. During communism, so like 45, 47 years. Yes. This was just a completely restricted, but now it's converted. It, it has started little by little and they were placed uh, here. Their houses and their villas and they, uh, uh, they like. Uh, now here it is the most famous uh, neighborhood in Albania. Uh, and it's very, uh, also in Tirana, let's say, but also in Albania, very famous for the nightlife. A lot of pubs, bar cafes, restaurants, etc. So it's the chic neighborhood of Tirana. You can see it as we entered, lots of beautiful bars restaurants last night we actually drove through here and it was like completely packed lots of people out walking enjoying and yeah banks buildings residences offices restaurants and bars so here we are at mother uh, teresa square it is the second biggest uh, square in uh, tirana it is connected with uh, skanderbeg square through the main boulevard boulevard uh, de smart combit the martyrs of the nation translated it used to has to have also the the statue of mother teresa but now the statue it is put near the airport of mother teresa so next up we're going to try some rakia so it's like a rakia bar thing right no, it is a, a museum coffee, but uh, it is a very interesting coffee with uh, um, a lot of objects and souvenirs from Albania, old objects, uh, traditional Albanian. That was a quick drive, like two minute drive and we're here at Kometeti, Kometeti Cafe and Museum. Let's go inside. Yeah, tell me. Okay, uh, so this is the most uh, precious thing we have in our houses. This is where we make rakia. This is where we put the grapes to boil them and to do rakia. The inside of Kometeti is a museum. As you can see over here, they have small glasses. These were glasses used during communist era. Over here, they have a beautiful fan, lots of different things here, wood, um, you know, glasses. Over here, we have the tree trunks on the top. We have this flickering. I don't know why it's flickering, I guess. <laughs> Technical issue here. And then if we can walk all the way through to the very end, we have the bar. So this area is basically the open air cafe bar, right? Yes. Uh, you know, open air, very bohemian. I guess this is more, this is more like a hippie place, more relaxed, right? And now we're gonna try ten different rakias, ten. And here we have a flight. She's gonna pour a huge flight for me. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> 
So I have eight different rakia here. Over here is honey and cinnamon. Then we have dole, which is like a tree here in Albania. Then we have a spicy one, okay. Next up we have saffron rakia, that's different. Konu, konukade, I don't even know what that is. The sixth one is anise, which is basically like uzo. Then we have manifer, so this is blackberry. And the last one is passion with seven sensations. Okay, so we're starting off with the honey and cinnamon. Wow, strong, but mmm. Love the cinnamon. Not so intense with the honey flavor, more cinnamon. That's what I'm, I'm getting sensation of. Very strong. <laughs> this is uh, intense. <laughs> and the next one is the dale, dale, which is the tree. So it's like a type of tree. For me, the strongest rakias are usually the clear ones. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> that one uh, basically tastes tastes like bark. So yeah, so the tree, mm, strong. Oh, and this is the spicy one, right? <laughs> oh my god, it's like straight up black pepper. Ooh, it's a little too strong for me. I'm good with that. Saffron rakia. Oh, it's good. Very flowery. That's the taste here. Flowery, light, nothing compared to the spice. I got that one's like, ooh. I don't even know how you drink the whole thing. <laughs> so this is Konkwad, which is Chinese tangerine. Mm hmm Okay, yeah, it's very tangy, very citrusy. Mm. Nice, they're all super strong. Like they're all super intense. You have to have some water on the side. Oh my god. This is uh whew. I think it's gonna get a lot easier on the next three. So we have anise, blackberry, and this is passion. This is anise, Greek uzo. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot easier to drink this. Hmm. I don't even know how to explain the taste of anise, but if you ever drink raki in Turkey, it's made the same, anise, so they add water into it and it becomes cloudy. Oh, and this is the blackberry. I think this is gonna be my favorite. All the berry rakis, super fruity, flavorful, blackberry rakia. My favorite. Ooh, ooh, that's like an aftertaste. Ooh. Last one, the passion. Oh man, they've been super intense. Passion, seven sensations. Ooh, this is like, this is a mix of berries and flour. Ooh. All the ones that are a little fruitier, a little more flour, those are the ones that are easier to drink. I think the spicy one was the most intense. This one and this one were just a little too strong. Very, very clear rakia is very, very strong. I like also the honey. So between the honey and the passion, and then also the blackberry, this is the best. So guys, that's it. We saw Tirana today. Started off in Skanderbak Square. Skanderbak? Amazing square, center of the city. So from there you can walk over to the castle and have breakfast at Serene. We had traditional breakfast, lots of different things. Everything was super delicious from the Albanian pancakes to the beef salami. Also we had like two different uh, tavas. The fergesa was I think my favorite. But then I also love the one with the oats, the yogurt, and the honey. That was like delicious. From there we walked over, we saw the new bazaar, we saw more of the center of the city. We drove over to Mother Teresa Square and then we came here to Cometeti. Cometeti. Cometeti, so museum, cafe, best place to try different rakia. You could do a flight like I did, could try eight different rakia. They have 35, so if you really wanna go all out, you could try all of them. I think it's a, it's a little intense, I mean, especially if you haven't had lunch. I'm starving right now, so I gotta like limit the alcohol, but this is really good, really cool experience. And that's it guys, we had an amazing day in Tirana. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Albania. Maybe a little more of the passion. Ah. 
Ooh. It's intense. It's a bird, it's a bird. I know, it's a bird, it's a bird. <laughs>